Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Young of Hearing Solution Centers. Our website is heartulsa.com. I tell my employees every day, love on the patients. But sometimes we have to tell you hard truths. We never share those hard truths without love. Today, we are going to talk about ear candling. What in the world is it? So what happens is that a massage therapist will lay someone on their side, maybe stay for there for about 10, 15 minutes, put a paper plate so that the wax doesn't drip on your face, not fun. And then you wanna have this candle that may be a foot long and they'll let it burn down inside until they get it to maybe a couple inches away. Take it away. Then they cut it open and see the results. Now, are they really results? I'm going to share that in a second. But what you have to understand is what we're looking at. How do we know the results without knowing what's in the ear first? You see, when I just look at my outer ear and you're just seeing the pinna, that's all we see. And if you're not using something called an otoscope that can at least see from the pinna into the ear canal, we have no idea how much wax is in the ear. That's only the outer ear. The middle ear takes the acoustic signal, hits the eardrum and the bones and changes it into a mechanical signal. Then it goes into the inner ear, which is a hydraulic signal, and then transduces it or changes it one more time into an electrical signal. It crosses over several times up in the brainstem, up to the top of the ear, and we have that ability to know that the word really is enough and we understand what that word means. So when we have that issue of how the transduction of sound all the way up to the brain, we still have to know if we've had a difference. You see, when I see a patient, I'm looking at the ear with my otoscope and I have a video otoscope and I'll snap a picture and show Holy cow, there's a bunch of wax. We'll go and flush out the ear wax and then snap a second picture of that same ear to show that the wax has been fully removed. The patient should say, holy cow, that was a big difference. And that's important to me. And that's the only way that we know we made a difference because I look beforehand and I look afterward. But does the ear candling work? Now you see a whole bunch of people and they'll show online the fun little games that mom plays with the two kids doing an ear candling over the table and it's like a party for, for these families. Do whatever you feel like. Am I saying not go to a massage therapist? No, I go see a massage therapist all the time, every single month. When she's working on my shoulder, I can feel the tension and then feel the tension reduce because I have more range of motion in my shoulder with all the problems that I've had. So of course, I see a difference with my massage therapist, but do I want my massage therapist doing something to a space that we're not supposed to be touching? Really up to you, but I would wanna have a person who knows what they're doing. That's what I have my doctorate degree in. I've been doing this for 29 years, seeing 15,000 patients. Don't you want someone like me to look at the ear? Don't you want to know what the problem is? Is it just wax? Or is it something wrong with your eardrum? Is there an infection? Is there another problem? But you say, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Well, here's what they do. They'll cut it open, they'll open up the ear candle, and they see, holy cow, there's a lot of wax in there. But what we find is that is the shavings, the, the uh, wax shavings, we'll say, of the candle itself. Because there have been so many different uh, studies that have shown that what really comes out of the ear is maybe a tiny bit of wax, but the rest of it is still there. That's a problem. 
And as, as like I said to you before, 29 years, I've seen plenty of ear candling patients. They come in and their eardrum is completely filled up. And you say, how could it be filled up? It's if you put hot wax and you have it trying to suck out the wax in your ear, which is similar in, in type that, that when you think about it, and it heats up the wax, guess what it does is it seeps down to your eardrum and covers it completely up. That's your choice whether you want to do that or not. But I would really want to know that the wax was removed. And so that's big, the big problem. We have a plugged up effect and we need to know that it was taken care of. Now, we're, talk, we're gonna talk about this next week about the best way to help you with your wax, but it's more of a management system with this thing called Audiologist Choice Earwax Removal. That's kind of funny because that's the name, that's who recommends it as well. And the thing that we have to consider is why are we doing this? What are we hoping to accomplish? We're gonna talk a lot about that over the next several weeks. Next week, we're gonna talk about how to do this and we're gonna give you ways of thinking about your ears. But come see us at heartulsa.com, subscribe to the channel right below, and we'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much.